Look at these adorable little assholes chasing deer around. I don't know if you can see them. It's just two puppies. There was an, an adult dog that ran through and scared like 30 deer. And I didn't think much of it, but these little idiots are, are running with the pack now. Let me see if I can pet one of these fucking puppies and not get bit by the mom. See him? Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> there we go. Good for you, dog. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, man. How fucking ridiculously cute are you? Come here. Oh, you are disgusting. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Sorry, I am not really looking through this camera much. I'm living life, looking directly at it. It's all wet. Those are going to be some feral fucking asshole dogs when they grow up. They are not getting handled enough. They are just going to be fucking wild dogs. That sucks. What up? Saturday 19th of December. It is UFC night. Last one for like a month. Got a couple bets out. And it's 50 degrees and sunny. I'm recharging the battery because it needed it. It was almost dead. I'm going to have to come up with some kind of generator or something for that. I can't, I can't risk it in the winter. You know, I'm using more power than I was in the beginning because now I have tank heaters on and uh, this fucking diesel heater uses up power too when it runs. Not a lot, but like half an amp. But you figure 24 hours a day, that's 12 amps. You know what I mean? And those fucking, uh, the tank heaters are, I think 20 watts. So that's an amp and a half. So times 24, that's like 40 watt or 40 amps a day. You know what I mean? I have a 280 amp hour battery. So uh, if you don't get some for four or five days, you're dead. The shit is dead. So I got to look into some kind of generator for it. I need an inverter generator. What I've been doing is cutting tile. Um, I have tile board. I'm going to hang on. Let me turn this. Oh, wait, before I turn it around, I've been drinking moonshine that some guy gave me before I moved from Pennsylvania. My neighbor at the time who I wish I would have got his contact information because he was awesome. He moved in like a month or two before I moved. Uh, weird dude. I definitely, uh, drug friendly, we'll call him, but he, uh, he made his own moonshine. And when I was leaving, I had this box of liquor and I, I hadn't talked to him much, but I knew, uh, the guy who owned the house, he was cool. And he was renting to this dude who was his friend. So I didn't want to just throw all this liquor out. So I walked over and was like, yo, do you guys drink? Take this. I'm not going to take a bunch of half empty liquor bottles. And, uh, cause it was all, yeah, nothing valuable, anything good I took, but, um, and it, it had, uh, like a bunch of mixers and shit. You know what I mean? Like shit from when I lived with girls. Basically, like, am I going to drink hazelnut liqueur or fucking Midori? No, no, I'm not going to do that. So anyway, I give him this big box with like 12 bottles of liquor in it or whatever. And uh, then the next day he sees me outside. He's like, yo, try this. I made this moonshine. And it's like he made it out of apples or fucking uh, like apple cider or something. I took a sip and uh, did everything I could not to throw up in front of the dude. Not good. But I brought it with me because he gave me like a, 
a ball, one of those ball jars, the court ball jars, kind of half full. And I was like, all right, man, I'm going to fucking I'm gonna take this liquor with me. And I just did, dude, I don't know how powerful or powerful. I don't know uh, like what proof it is, but Jesus Christ, man, I did a few shots of that and I drank two beers and I'm dizzy. <laughs> and like weird feeling and immediately dehydrated. I don't know if that's part of moonshine. If that's what moonshine does to you, just immediately that fucking little hanging ball in the back of your throat turns into a, a double A size battery. Is that moonshine? I don't know, but I drank it. Uh, so yeah, weird day, but okay. So UFC, for whatever reason, it must be an early start. Starts at three in the afternoon here. Uh, so trying to get this done. It's maybe one thirty. I'm going to, now I'll turn this shit around. I'm going to lay a piece of tile board here, which means you have to, uh, mix up thin set. I, it's, I bought the cheapest dog shit thin set. It's seven bucks a bag. You mix it up kind of watery and pour it out and kind of just smear it out. But it's not like, it's not like you're laying tiles. It doesn't have that like paste consistency. It's definitely liquid and it will run and just fill in the space. Then you throw your tile board on top and then you, you drill through. And basically a lot of that thin set squishes out. If you're laying a couple boards down, you know, I would, I would, uh, if you get a ton of it, use the trowel and just fucking push it out. Like say I laid a board here. Right, I would mush the liquid thin set this way, and then lay the next board on whatever's left. But I'm only doing one board, and then and I'm doing these walls. Um, so anyway, I took this. I wasn't taping any of this. I was just being drunk and fucking walking around with cement board. I took this board. Uh, it hangs over a little, so I got to make that cut. But I basically just measured where I wanted it to go up to, which was this thing. Uh, got the measurement for that 49 inches slit across the top and then measured from here to the top of this to get my distance to where to start this hole and here to the bottom of this so you can see I was a little off with the hole but I didn't have the board in here I was just kind of doing it by air and I knew that this hung over by like two inches so I got nine and a half this way I just made it eleven and a half and cut the hole and it's pretty close. I mean, it's fucking good enough. It, it definitely will work. So not not bad for, for being a drunkard and not actually holding the board up to it, just getting some measurements and giving it a shot. Not terrible. I also never cut. The thing with cement board is you got to score both sides before you cut it because you got to break. There's this like, see that mesh? You got to break that shit on both sides and then get it to crack kind of where you want it to with the stuff in between and pick it out. You know what I mean? Because the, the only real structure is being made by the edges. Um, so I never did a hole like that in a board. It wasn't it wasn't as hard as I thought. I've actually never used this board, Duroc. I always use that other shit. Uh, I don't know what it's called, Wonder Board. I'm only saying that because Wonder Boy Thompson is fighting tonight. I don't think that's what it's called. Uh, it might be called Wonder Board, though. Um, anyway, so. You fucking, uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, what a piece of shit. So, whatever. I'm going to hang this up. I this I turned water pressure to this a couple hours ago. Nothing's leaking out of there now. Uh, and nothing, I'm not going to pull this off the wall. Nah, fuck it. I got to cut it anyway. Nothing is leaking out of here. And that was the problem before. So, fuck it. I'm going to say it's good. Uh, so once I get this up, I'm going to... I have to put something here. Unless I can... Nah, I'm not going to be able to cut this perfect. I got to, like, put a board on here. Sister, a 2x4 on here. So that there's something to screw into for this board. Because you can't screw right near the edge of the board. Or it'll just crumble away. Uh, you got to go maybe an inch in or so, like like that far in, and I don't have that sh that space here. So I'm gonna put another board here to give me that clearance so I can nail it in, and then I will probably, I might try and do an L. Oh, fuck, this is it. it's hard to show. I might try and do like an L to, to encompass this whole thing, and then just notch out the top and slide it up, and then one little piece in there, and fuck it. 
that's probably the easiest way to do it. So maybe that's how I'll do it. <sighs> great, great talk. You're doing good. Both sides are scored. There we go. Actually, this shit is easier than that other board that I used to use. Definitely. You work by yourself, you gotta get everything like in place ahead of time so that you can use your knees or some shit or like your elbow and fucking, you know what I mean? I just that one got it up in place. And then it's just every eight inches you put these fucking screws in. I, we are pretty well secured here. I had to fill in all these gaps then with uh, liquid, uh, liquid mortar, and it's like a mesh tape that you put over it. So this should be good. I'm not going to film the rest of this because I want to actually get something done here. Uh-oh. See, this is why you don't get drunk. Do a bunch of fucking... Housework. Didn't even think about the length of the screw. That shit popped through. And the only reason I knew was because I was holding on to this with one hand so I could get enough pressure to drive the screw through with the other. So, yeah. That sucks. It's, I mean, it's no big deal. I'll make it work, but... That's, that's just like some drunk boy shit. Oh, and also, the screw was like a little stripped around the head. And I had to reposition it. Before I did, I blew into it and blew whatever metal shavings came off the the uh, hex pattern into my eye. Awesome. All right, it's 4.30. It's about to get dark, but I just got this done, hung up. I got a little stupid thing here. I got to cut sh a strip for this. I'm going to tile this whole side. And a strip for that. So that's going to be another day but that's going to go over top of this so what i'm going to do now is just wrap the tape around and try and fill it in up to there um not terrible uh got that to be all one piece this one i did fuck up and cut wrong once but i had the piece outside and i'll just use it somewhere else um did it like an l here and just fucking over over screwed in that little piece now I gotta do all this joint tape I'm going to lay the one piece that I that I coated with the waterproof right here yet uh, once I mix up some mortar and then I'll do all the joints in here with that mortar all right I mixed up some mortar let it sit for like 15 20 minutes uh, I made it thick thick and like pasty like a mousse kind of because I'm gonna be putting this tape all across this and smearing it in there so the thicker it is I'm assuming the better it will stick to these walls I don't know uh, that's that's my thought process on it and then whatever's left in there I'm gonna pour some water in and some more and make it real watery and then lay a piece down here tonight yet but anything you put on the floor you want it to be watery you want it to like run kind of fluid you want it to kind of fill in the space then you put your your board on it anything on a wall you want it to be thick or that shit's gonna fall off but when you make it thick like this it's not very wet so you might even have to as it's drying go through and put a little water on it here and there 
Uh, if you see it starting to like dry out and crack, because that shit will definitely happen. All right, there we go. I took whatever was left in there. I added some water to it, watered it down. I would have normally made it a little bit thicker than this, but whatever. Uh, I am going to throw that one piece on here. Stomp. Well, not stomp, but like step heavy on the whole thing. Make sure it's in place where I want it. And then start screwing these things in. That's it. Took 12 minutes. Uh, anywhere where the, the stuff bubbled up, just smear it flat, you know. Uh, the spots where I drilled through on the, on the rubber when I have to coat this thing, because I have to paint this entire inside with that rubber, I'll fill in those screw holes there. And that's it, man. I'm going to call it for today. So yeah, just like here how it bubbled up. See how there there's crack yet? I will just smear it kind of over towards the crack. Uh, same with here, I will just smear it into that crack. And then anything that went over, you can, if it's thick, you can let it dry thick and then hit it with a chisel and break it off before you put in your next piece. But since there's not much here, I think I'm just gonna scrape it onto the, the trowel, scrape up as much as I can, push the rest of it into one pile to dry up and then just chip that off because it's kind of a pain in the ass to chip this shit off the next day but it does work uh, and that's it I'm gonna call it for today let this shit dry and then uh, do the waterproof shit tomorrow and that should be it